Hey, it's Wabbit. Hope you're doing well. So apologies for the audio. I've got an overhead fan going on in this room. Hey, it's it's Vegas. It's 108 degrees. I got to try and keep cool while doing, while doing this. So if you hear any background noise, that's what that is. Um, what I wanted to do is share something that I've been tinkering around with and trying to utilize my two iPads uh, in terms of connecting them together. Um, this really isn't connecting together. I'm really in this setup pumping audio out from both through an interface. I'll talk about the setup here. Uh, I will get into a device here that is no longer uh, in production. I'm not recommending to use this. This is just something that I saw in my research in the past and decided to go. I think I got it on Reverb or eBay. I can't remember. But I went out and got it. But it's not something you can buy. It's just, Again, it's, it's been discontinued. Um, there may be other interfaces where you can do this, so I will leave it up to you. Uh, if you want to try something like this, you would have to either get this, I'm not trying to, to push any gas, or take what you have and, and, and maybe try and switch some things around. Um, so let me just kind of explain the setup. The models that I have, the iPad, don't really matter, but bottom line, both have USB-C and therefore you see a dongle, and again, the dongles don't matter, but the concept is having a dongle, uh, obviously, that has USB out, uh, and also having a 3.5 or an audio jack out. Uh, I'm a big fan of when you get a dongle, find one that has an audio jack if you're looking to use your um, iDevices um, for something like this. So the discontinued device is this Novation 2x2, um, big fan of it. I've uh, been learning how to use it more. And really, I just wanted to, uh, I, I took a picture on social media where I used two audio interfaces. And big thanks to Jacob Hawk. I'll put a link to his channel. He actually talks about using this and another audio device to, to kind of get these things to work. Um, and I'm, I'm just kind of, again, messing around. Um, so this iPad here, this dongle, I've got a, the audio cable coming out into two RCA inputs here. So this is what this cable is here. So that's bringing the audio from this iPad into the audio interface. And then because I've got USB hooked up, uh, basically the audio, excuse me, the audio interface innovation is, you know, running into the iPad. So the audio comes out of here. So I don't need to have an audio jack. So that that's the cool thing about having an audio interface is you just really need to have the audio from the other iPad coming into here. Now, on the back of the Novation, on the right-hand side there, you see where it says RCA output. So I've got two RCA cables, and that is running into a 3.5 millimeter, or it's terminating into a 3.5 millimeter, excuse me, 3.5 millimeter that's plugged into the back of the, RC, the RCA. The Rodecaster Pro, this is the OG. Uh, FYI, I do have the Rodecaster Pro 2 on back order, just waiting for that to ship. Uh, should be coming hopefully soon. And uh, anyway, so I've got that plugged into the 3.5 millimeter input. So when I turn up the music uh, in this example, it'll be coming through here. So again, it's just set up so to do um, this video. So that's pretty much the hardware setup. And again, that's why we'll leave it up to you. You know, if you don't have this, you don't want to go out and buy it you know, take a look at what you have. You need something that has input. You need something that has an output um, and obviously USB to kind of make this thing work. So really, I'm just trying to push, again, the audio from both devices. Now, why? It's really trying to, I, I could do this on one, um, but the fact that I have these two, didn't buy them for this reason, but many of us have multiple devices laying around. It's like, what can I do to, in this case, reduce the, Basically, this is your CPU level, so I want to reduce that. So you start running multiple apps on here. You start cranking up the CPU. This is, a, I think, a 20, uh, I want to say 2020 model in 2021. These are not M1 iPads, by the way. So, um, But that is a chance or a risk you take when you start running multiple applications inside of AUM. Then you're going to run the risk, and that has happened to me where it does crash. And I want to do another video talking about iOS for music making and things of that sort. But again, that's for another day. Uh, I don't know if I said it, but I am running uh, AUM. That's what this app is here. I'm not going to go deep level or take a deep dive into the apps here. That'll be for another day. But if you're curious, I strongly would recommend, and I'll put a link down below to a couple channels that can help you 
um, great tutorials. If you're new to this space and you're considering doing something with your iPad uh, for music, messing around, having fun, or you know, taking it more seriously, um, there's some great resources out there, and I'll put a few down below. Um, so again, it's just trying to lessen the load on the CPU by putting, you know, maybe a couple apps here and one here. Um, I've seen other people, you know, in terms of I'll put my drums over here or put my effects on one, you know, maybe melodics on one side. I mean, I'm not getting that detailed yet. It's really about trying to set this thing up to see if I can kind of get this to work. The other thing that's nice about this with AUM is Ableton Link is enabled on both. So if you'll notice here right now, I'm not playing, but you can kind of see this little bar coming across. So let me just show you real quick. Uh, if I hit play here, you'll see that it'll start on the secondary iPad. And I'll turn the volume up here in a little bit. So that's kind of cool. I can kind of keep these, uh, everything in sync, uh, which is really nice. So as I change, uh, just kind of show you here. So I'll hit play again and I can change the uh, BPM. So right now I'm at 120. So if I change it on one, you'll see that it's changed there. So that's kind of cool that um, you can actually uh, do that if you need to. Um, so again, the apps, well, not again, but the apps that I have, it's a Fugue Machine here. Basically, this is a MIDI controller. I can put in a couple notes. It's got four different playheads. And then I have that going into Housemark uh, 1. Uh, so when I push play, you'll see, let me bring up the audio on that here, whoops, a little bit. And then I just have a drum program. Uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, SDS-X uh, is uh, the drum program. So the volume is down on here. So when I hit play on here, you'll get the audio from Fugue Machine. Bring that up a little bit. And then you can just kind of see the playhead. So I've got three playheads going once. And this is really cool. Again, without getting to uh, a tutorial on this, um, you can go different speeds, different tempo, octaves, etc. Very powerful application. Strongly recommend that. And then I can go ahead over here and just bring the volume up on the uh, drum app. So that's really what I was trying to do is use these two... You know, my DSP is at 24%. I think this one is about 40-some percent. I can't really see as I'm just kind of zooming in on here, like 43, something like that. So it's just really kind of lessen the load. Um, and then you can kind of, you know, put your effects in, bring in other apps, and just kind of, kind of have a cool little production here. And then just have all the audio going in through one interface, um, if I was just doing this by myself, I would probably just have my headphones plugged into the Novation, and, and that's where, you know, the signal there would uh, terminate. But again, just for the recording of this video, that's why I have it going into the uh, Rodecaster. So this is where I will turn over to you in terms of if you are aware of other setups or connections, maybe there's a device I'm missing uh, or should look into because I'm not a big fan of the cable mess. And, and one of the things that I don't like about this is the setup time and then the teardown time. And I, I'm not a big fan of if you've got an idea, you want to throw something down. By the time you get all this set up, you may have lost that mojo or that idea. So I'm, I'm constantly on the hunt of trying to, I mean, yeah, obviously I could just do one and, and, and be done and, and, and go with it. Um, but again, you know, as, as we nerds and music geeks, whatever you want to call it, we like to kind of play around with things and have fun and, and see what we can do. So I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, but this is something that I found and I want to kind of just throw it out there and let you run with it. And, and if you've got an idea, you've got a suggestion, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm, I'm open to learning, um, and, and maybe some, uh, out there at a higher pay level than I am <laughs> being sarcastic there. Uh, have some some ideas uh, to run with. Now, the other thing that I, I really like about this Novation, and I'll work on this on another video, is notice here I've got three USB inputs. So it's a USB hub. This is powered if you want to use the USB function. Um, so I can plug in MIDI keyboards. I can, uh, excuse me, plug in my Launch Control XL uh, synthesizer. So I, I definitely want to take advantage of that 
um, and then, you know, kind of figure out what I can do with these things having external hardware or MIDI controllers. I, I think that just kind of makes it uh, a pretty pretty cool idea and uh, be able to share that with both of them. Um, so that'll be that's something that I'll work on next. And once I get something figured out, um, kind of a rough draft sketch, um, I'll come back and, and do a video on that. So again, apologize for the mess. Um, you might have seen this little thing over here. I've got I need to I got some um, other equipment that I got on order in order to make that work. So I'll probably be talking about that device here at some point. So anyway, that's all I got. So um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to your comments. Uh, I want to keep learning, and uh, someone's out there got to have some some pretty cool ideas. Um, again, check the links below if you want to know know more about Om. Um, I, I can't speak enough about it, and. Uh, I definitely will try and do some videos on my own about these things to, uh, you know, help you guys out possibly. All right. That's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you're well. Uh, please be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And uh, less slamming, more jamming. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.